Welcome. I'm so glad you're here today. And thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I'm going to be talking about tips and ideas for a simple and clean style of scrapbooking. I'm Katie Nelson, and I'm also known as Katie the Creative Lady online. You can find me at my website at katiethecreativelady.com, where I blog about all sorts of creative projects, especially focusing on memory keeping and photography um, with a few other little fun things along the side. Uh, today I'm going to be focusing on simple scrapbooking, clean scrapbooking, and you might have heard it by some other names that I'll go over later. I'm going to be using my Natural Neutrals collection, and this is my latest collection in the Color Stories series and the one that I'm ending the series on. Neutrals are always so handy to have, and they really help you stretch your scrapbooking supplies. So let's just go over what's in this collection so you can see what I'll be using today. There is a set of pocket cards, and I always do a set of 12 3x4s and 12 6x4s, so you have the choice of which size you would like to use. Let's get a closer look at these cards. There are filler cards, and I always like to include a bit of a variety in these color kits so that you can use them for several types of memories. Remember this moment will work about with just about anything. Make it count as inspired by this paper that reminded me of little dashes that you might make as you're counting in um, little sticks like you might see. And the get out, I can't help but think of nature when I'm looking at these neutral brown colors and I love the way the play on words instead of get out you know like oh get out I can't believe it it's get out get out there and enjoy the outside you can find the beauty in everyday life and that's a good reminder and this sweet little love note I love you a little bit more every day and sometimes the best way to help someone is just to be near them. What a sweet quote and something that I know I'll use on several pages. A nice filler botanical branch type print. And I turned that into a printable too. It looks really nice framed. And happy memories. That's what we want to be putting in our albums. And a cute little wood background with a simple heart. A nice journaling card with the pine cone from that you'll see on the paper here in a minute and some journaling blocks and another couple of journaling cards just to help you tell your story. And here you can see them in the six by four size. So it's fun to get a look at them both ways. Then there's the paper pack, and papers are always so much fun for me to design and to use. This uh, dark brown paper that I, I, I'm calling it a geode print because it really reminded me of geodes. You rock hounds will get that reference, but it's a very natural look, and I ended up using it on several layouts already. And a beautiful multicolor floral that's a nice touch for a lot of different types of layouts. Some triangles, modern triangles for a nice simple print, which is so great when you are trying to do clean and simple scrapbooking. And a really soft alabaster branch botanical print. Pine cones, well that just they came to mind when I looked at all these beautiful browns together and a burlap. I love burlap texture and it looks so good on digital paper. This one on the left here, it, you might not be able to see it as well on your screen. You might have to look at it up close in the kit, but I'm calling it an alabaster dust. It's a white paper with a dusty transparency over it and it gives a nice texture and a little tiny pop of color when you want to have a white background, but you might want it to stand out just a little bit more. 
and those dashes, that counting type dash paper. The uh, creamish grid uh, print is nice for lots of different designs. And I love wood print papers. They're always so fun to use. And a small kind of Chevy, almost herringbone type look. Very sleek and just a nice touch of pattern without being overwhelming. And a sweet brown gingham that is a great addition as well. Stamps and brushes from this set are very useful for lots of different themes. And again, when you use digital stamps or brushes, you can make them in any color you want. Be sure to watch my video about using stamps and brushes for more tips, and I'll link to that in the comments. The template set for this one inspired this tutorial because I kept them very simple and clean looking, and I am excited to show you how I used them for some layouts. Template sets are great because they take all the work out for you. I've done all the measuring and placement and design work for you and added the shadows. And all you have to do is basically just plug in your photos and supplies and have a good time doing that. I always do single page templates and double page templates. And the nice thing about the double pages, even if you don't scrap in double page size, you can still see how I put together the different templates for spreads. So let's talk about simple scrapbooking, scrapbooking or clean scrapbooking. Um, there are several different ways to refer to this. Some people might call it minimal or minimalistic scrapbooking. Uh, it's uncluttered. There's usually quite a bit of white space and that doesn't necessarily mean white. So I'll show you some examples of that. The designs and lines are usually more simple. There's a clean overall feeling. It's, it's not busy, it's not overwhelming, and a lot of people prefer this type of scrapbooking. I love all styles of scrapbooking and I use them all. Um, so there's nothing wrong with doing that as well. Here's a page that I created using one of the layouts from this set. I used that get out card and that one of my favorite papers, that geode print, just clipping it to the strip that's already in the template. And then just a beautiful photo from just outside of Jackson Hole, Wyoming back in 2014. Sometimes really all you need is just to show a photo that you love and tell a few things about it. and Maybe add an embellishment or two with some paper or card. That's a very simple page. I left the background just plain white. You could add paper as well, but I love the look of it. And to me, this really embodies what a clean or a simple scrapbook page might look like. Here's another one from that same trip. I took a few photos from inside of Jackson Hole and put them on that same um, form out using the strip of paper. This will be the opposing page to that other one when they're printed in my photo book. And just a little card that says happy memories because this trip was full of happy memories for our family. Now I mentioned white space doesn't have to be white. You'll notice I kept that background white on that but I thought it might be nice to add a color background and help that happy memories card pop just a little bit. And so I did put one of the solid papers from the collection in there. And I love how that brought out the white on that Happy Memories card. And just because I filled it with a color doesn't mean it isn't white space. White space refers to the space in a design that doesn't have anything in it. It's um, visually clear or I guess empty but it's not really empty because there's a paper there but I think you understand from seeing this that it is left open to let your eye rest and that can be really pleasing on a scrapbook layout. Some people like to keep their minimal scrapbooking very minimal and they like just a small photo on the page or 
just even something really small. You might see when you look through galleries or Pinterest that you might see some scrapbook layouts that only have one photo on them. And that's okay, too. Some people really love that. And that's a style as well. So with these templates that I designed, you could delete some of the photo spaces and do that as well. And that's what I did on this one. You can fill that larger space, that larger white space with a simple design. And it still works very nicely as white space, maybe just a little plussed up than just being empty, but still very simple, very soothing. And again, this is an example of a very minimal layout. Now, uh, you can also, white space doesn't have to be light in color. It can be dark. You can have that dark look of paper and add that little pop of flowery paper and still the card and have a very minimalistic page. Now, you don't have to only have one photo or have really big white space to be considered minimal or, or clean scrapbooking. It's okay to put several photos on the page. Now here I've put four photos and even some patterned paper, but I would still call this a clean page or a simple page. The design lines are very uh, straight and sharp and clean and uncluttered. And there is still enough white space that you feel like your eye gets a rest. And it's just a great overall look. So those are just some quick tips for clean and simple scrapbooking. You should remind yourself to get out, to get out of that mindset that pages have to be fancy or have lots of embellishments or ingredients to look great. Simple is beautiful. And it's really a fun style to try. So I hope you will give that a try. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I sure appreciate you watching. And it would be great if you liked it, if you can give me a thumbs up or, and or subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out on YouTube. And I appreciate you being here. Thanks so much.